Hey guys, ever feel upset because you're unable to scale up your business on Facebook because you simply can't manage multiple fan pages? You find yourself spending all your existing time just coping with what you have right now. Well, here's Reach Multiply, a 100% new Facebook content system that will let you find and schedule Facebook content worth weeks in a matter of minutes which means you can power multiple fan pages, all the fan pages you want, and still have time left for vacations and parties. Let's have a look at Reach Multiply. Right now, I'm on the Reach Multiply dashboard, and I've already added my Facebook account. I can see all the pages that I have access to. That not only includes the pages that I've created, but also the pages that I've got admin rights to, but were created by other people. I can set up campaigns for any of these pages. Campaigns are the secret sauce of Reach Multiply. You can automate the entire content plan for a fan page for weeks or even months in just a few minutes. Let's go to a fan page and check it out in action. Let's go for this one. Currently it's got no campaign. Let's create a new one. Click on create new campaign. Now I can select a name for the campaign. I can put in a description. I can select the content type that I want to push in this particular campaign and you've got five different types of content types. You've got link campaign, you've got image campaign, you've got video campaign and custom campaign and finally text campaign. In link campaigns, you can share links to other websites, to your blog or maybe other people's blogs or news websites. In image campaigns, you can select, you can actually find and share photographs of whatever subject matter your fan page is about. In video campaigns, you can share videos. In custom campaigns, you can put in your own content and share it on Facebook. And in text campaign, you can put in posts containing text uh, with whatever content you put in. Let's do an image campaign. And now we will need to select the start date of the campaign. So let's put in a start date and let's put in a let's put in an end date. So I'm going to select about a month's time, a little more than a month's time. Finally, you can select the posting time. So this is the time when you want these posts to appear on Facebook every day. So I can select what time I want these posts to appear. And by default, it takes your computer's time zone. So you already know what time this will be posted. So I want this post to show up at 9.20 a.m. And this is something that is very positive for Facebook because Facebook actually encourages regular content posting and it gives you more exposure if you are regular and disciplined with your content. So finally, once you're ready, click on create campaign and it's time to fill the campaign with data. The campaign is created. We've got here an empty campaign and it's time now to fill it with data. So if you scroll above on the menu you can see that this is fan pages if you click on this we go back to the fan page list right over here so we got the fan page list again and campaigns is where you see all the campaigns that you've created right now we've got only one and these are all the places where you can fill the campaigns with data so if you want to fill an image campaign click on images and now you can select the page you want to work with and select the campaign so we selected the campaign that we just created and here you can select the image source where you want to get the image from do you want to get it get them from tumblr do you want to upload the image do you want to create images yourself do you want to search for trending gif images or you just want to search for gif images in particular let's try and get some images from tumblr so let's do a search for my favorite star stallone search tumblr you got the images and the images that you like you can quickly add to selection which means it gets, gets added to the selected images the shortlisted images and you can download them when you're ready you can scroll down look for more images by clicking on load more images and that will get you even more images so select the images that you want to work with and suddenly we have arnie keep scrolling and keep finding more images select as many as you want so you can quickly select all the images you want just quickly keep clicking and once you have finished selecting all the images that you want to work with click on the
And once you've finished selecting all the images that you want to work with, go back to the top and click on this link over here, which will show you how many images you've selected. And now you've got all these images that you selected. You can actually change the order. So if you want this to be the first image that's posted, you can do so. You can post in any order you want. And finally, when you're ready, click on submit to Facebook. That's all. Now, Reach Multiply is submitting all your images to Facebook, scheduling them for your fan page and your content will be posted according to the settings that you put up. So every day at 9.20 a.m. an image from this present collection is going to show up on Facebook. So all the images have been scheduled and now if you go to the campaign section, you will see your campaign listed over here but now you can see that we have images for 15% of the entire campaign duration. So if the campaign duration was for X number of days and we've already put in six images, then Reach Multiply is going to find out how many more images we need to fill in the entire campaign period and it's going to tell you to post some more images. So you've got to post uh, many more images to fill the other 85% uh, but we have got images to last us for six days which is 15 percent of the entire campaign duration so this way you can actually set up and add images as many images you want and fill up the, this bar till you get to 100 percent and then your campaign is going to run and reach multiplies posts will be posted to facebook every day for the entire month and you would not have to revisit this at all so this is what you can do with images you can also do this with videos because reach multiply supports videos too we don't have a video campaign yet so we can quickly create one give it a, a description select the type select the start date the end date the posting time let's check for let's go for 12 p.m and click on create campaign all done come back to videos you will see the campaign listed over here click on the campaign look for the source you can go for youtube you can find the videos in latest videos in YouTube and you can also find the videos in your own selection. So if you want to put in your own selection of videos, you can do, th do that through settings. But if you want to search YouTube, that's perfectly fine. Put in the keyword, click search YouTube and you have all these images. Just click on add video quickly, whatever videos you want to add. And then go back up. You've got four videos selected. You, have, you got the sequence, click on submit to Facebook and that's all. All the videos will be scheduled for posting. Now if you go into campaigns, you will find two campaigns, one for the images, one for the videos. You can create similar campaigns for links. You can find articles from Google for the topic that you picked. You can also find RSS feeds. Whatever link you're ready with, click on add link. And finally, again, click on the selected button over here. You will see the sequence, change the sequence if you want, click on submit to Facebook. You can similarly add text or even your custom content if you want. If you want to put in your own custom content with your own stuff, with your own graphics, with your own text, you can do that. And in settings, you can actually set up the software. You can connect it to Facebook. You can select the page that you want to set up as default. You can select your time zone. You can put in your YouTube channel details. So if you put in your YouTube channel details in my videos, you will get to see videos from those channels. And finally, again, you will need to put in your email. You can change your password and you can set up email notifications. So whenever a campaign starts or ends, you will be notified. And that way you will know when you need to put more videos into your campaigns. So this is the greatest way. This is the easiest way to find content that you can put up on all your Facebook fan pages without having to slog on a daily basis. Quickly search from right within reach multiply, post from right within reach multiply and things will show up Posts will show up on all your fan pages without you having to work manually for hours and hours and hours and having to invest so much time. 